Hello friends, I'm Parwiz and this is our 53rd video in PyQt5 GUI application development. In the previous video we have learned that how you can uh, connect your Qt designer with PyQt5. So you can watch the previous video for more information about connecting uh, Qt designer with PyQt5 because uh, in this video we're using Qt designer. So particularly in this video uh, I want to show you that uh, how you can insert data uh, using a Qtable widget in MySQL database. So before this, uh, I had showed you that uh, how you can uh, insert data uh, using a line edit. But uh, in this video, I want to show you that uh, using a Qtable widget, you can insert your data. So for this, uh, I'm going to open the Qt Designer. So you can go to the, your Python uh, site package and you can find uh, PyQt5 tools and uh, yeah, this is and we are going to uh, the designer.exe. So, okay, now let me create a Q main window. I uh, create so I want to just uh, make uh, smaller. Okay guys, this is uh, my window and let me just uh, remove this uh, uh, menu bar. Also, I'm going to remove the status bar. Okay, like this and uh, make it smaller. So before this, uh, guys, I have uh, uh, a database at name of PyQt5 and um, also I have a table that's called data. So this is my database and uh, I have a data table and I have two data in here so the uh, let me just remove uh, these two and I'm going to uh, remove this okay like this so now after this uh, I'm going to add a, a table widget in here so table widget and I want uh, item based table widget let me copy this in here and make it bigger also I need to add a push button uh, push button let me change this to insert uh, data like this uh, let me choose these two and give a layout like this and uh, so now my layout is okay right click and we want to add a, a column in here so the first column uh, i want for this uh, should be uh, let me just uh, make okay uh, i'm going to give it a name so according to my database so i have a name email I ID is auto increment. Let me add another. This is email, and for the row, I want to just add one row like this. Okay. So now I have uh, this. After this, I'm going to save this because I want to convert this to a Python file so you can save. And if you don't know, you can watch my previous video about this. Uh, let me go to the uh, Python. And the scripts I want to save this in the scripts I'm going to call it uh, uh, let me what I call uh, my uh, database my database dot UI so it's the UI file you can see it is designer UI file and click on save so after this I'm going to open uh, my scripts so like this and if you check how uh, it was my database I uh, mm, yeah this is you can see that we have uh, this now I want to convert this let me open the same in here and by y uic5 dash x and my uh, mm, file name is my database dot ui and the out should be uh, my database dot py my uh, database.py so now uh, 
it converted and you can see I have a data my database Python file let me just cut this and I want to paste this in my PyCharm ID and let me just paste it in here so okay uh, paste and okay so this is uh, my design that uh, we have designed this in Qt Designer and if I run this you will see that uh, I have the my design and now I'm waiting for this okay now you can see that I have uh, um, this is my design and uh, now uh, I want to create a method in here so at the top uh, in here uh, so I want to create a method I call it diff uh, insert data uh, itself okay now the first thing this is name uh, so for the name I want to get this from my table widget so cell dot table widget uh, this is my table widget name dot item dot item so I want to get the row 0 and uh, I want to get the text so you can get uh, by giving dot text so now you can make for row in a range range a self dot table widget dot row count dot row count like this okay so this is my first one and let me just copy this because I want this once more so I'm going to paste this in here and uh, let me just change the this name to email because it's email and change this to one like this okay uh, so this is my two data after this we need to import in here uh, import uh, MySQL DB. So for MySQL DB, you can watch my previous video. Uh, I have uh, already uh, showed the installation process as MDB. Let me make it email. Okay, now I'm going to create connection. So con, mm, con, and uh, MDB dot connect so I want to connect uh, to the local host and my uh, this is root uh, I don't have any password and this is my database name so it is PyQt5 okay and now with uh, with con uh, with con I want to make a cursor object con.cursor after this I want to execute my query so cur.execute okay now in here I want to write insert insert into and write your data uh, table name so my table name is data like this uh, I want to add a in name and the fields are name and email fields uh, this is the fields and the values that uh, I want to add so for the values okay uh, I'm using a placeholder string uh, string placeholder uh, like this and like this okay so after this you need to add the values uh, that we have get from our table widgets so the first one is uh, a name and the second one is email okay and uh, you can do uh, join this dot join and the first one is name and also uh, dot mm, join and the second one is email okay like this 
so we have created this uh, our query now after inserting uh, the data we are going to print something in here and uh, I want to print just uh, print uh, data inserted success uh, fully okay so now let me just run my application and hopefully I don't get any error and if I get I will check that again okay so this is my uh, uh, table a widget let me add uh, right now if you see my uh, data I don't have any data in my database so it's MPT uh, now I want to add the data let me add my name let me add an email address like this and insert data okay so if you see uh, insert data and uh, now let me just refresh oh sorry uh, we forgot to connect this so we have created this but we want to connect this as a slot we can call it this as a slot so now we want to connect this to the clicked signal uh, for this you can come down and in where we have a push button uh, sell dot push button dot clicked uh, dot connect and we want to connect this with the cell dot uh, uh, insert data it was insert data and uh, it is insert data Uh, so dot insert data so now let me just run this and hopefully this time it works okay so let me give my name and let me give an email address like this and click on insert data so data inserted successfully and I want to check my database that I have the data so yeah you can see now I have a data uh, at this is the data let me add another one let me add some more so let me uh, let me run it again and let me add one more so john and john at gmail.com and click on insert data data insert successfully now I want to check my database so I have another data at name of john and john at gmail.com uh, this is uh, that how we can uh, interact with QDBL widget and MySQL database. So if you have any question, please let me know. I will add the source code to the video description with more information. Uh, please subscribe to the channel, uh, like the video, and share the video with your friends.